Trent was born with a very complex heart condition. His heart was in the right chest and he had the veins that is taking blood from the lung going in an abnormal way and not coming directly to the heart. So also his, he had a common valve which separating the right and uh, uh, I mean the atria and the ventricle and um, his arteries are the wrong way around. Instead of one artery coming from each ventricle, he has both the arteries coming from the heart from one ventricle, that's the right ventricle. And they are the wrong way around. I think you can see that this, you know, how accurate this model is. Um, if you look, all the little branches of the pulmonary arteries can be seen. The main blood vessel, the aorta, coming up here. Um, the pulmonary veins at the back can be seen coming in where they've been repaired in the past. So all of this detail is really, really important and it gives the surgeon a heads up as to what he's going to find. When a heart is really unusual, particularly in dextrocardia, the vision is always flipped over. It's 180 degrees the other way and it takes time to orientate yourself. So this gives me a very, very good idea of what I'm going to find uh, during the surgery. The, um, so it is a very complex heart condition to treat. So to get a good insight into the condition, it is the best to have a printed model because he has been to many centers in the country and it was thought that we can't do anything about this heart. And having the printed model of the heart and have the ability to look into the chambers and look at the anatomy carefully, we can now contemplate how best we can help this child. And that insight is brought by uh, these uh, printed models. This isn't necessary for every case, but in very special cases, this is going to allow us to do more complete repairs than we would have been able to do in the past. So this technology is amazing. It used to be expensive. And I believe I've just been told that this model cost us $75, which is ex extraordinary when you think about the information that's in this model. The previous surgery um, can be seen in the back of the uh, collecting chamber of the heart, and we can see some stents in the back. The 3D printed model has actually brought out the man-made stents and we can actually see those in there, which is just extraordinary. I've never seen that before anywhere.